Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, Princeton Trader here from Mr. Top Step with your Wednesday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, well, you know, just a very, very strong market these last few days, and we're seeing follow-through this morning. Uh, we saw a lot of follow-through yesterday. Um, things are really ramping up in anticipation of a deal on the fiscal cliff. There's really no other reason for the rally, um, it, you know, except for maybe seasonality. But um, you know, you're getting a little bit of a a little bit of a holiday rally, and you're getting a lot of a fiscal cliff anticipation rally. So, um, you know, when when from from my personal trading, when things get like this, when we get this far above the upper Bollinger Band, anybody that knows me knows that I'm starting to get into a short trade, uh, simply because, you know, from a from a statistical standpoint, we're really not going to stay outside of those bands, you know, that far for for all that long. Uh, there's always trades that ride the upper band. There's always trades that ride the lower band. Typically, though, those trades will give you enough dips to to, to manage a, a decent trade. Um, so we'll see what happens today. We've done, you know, our high is um, we have done 45.75. So we've done 14.05.75 um, to 45.75 in, in a few sessions. So we are. You know we're we're pretty stretched. We're stretched on the Bollinger Bands. We're stretched on the pivots, and you know there's the buyers. There's only so much energy they can put into this. I mean to to continue to move this thing straight up. So whether we get a pullback today or whether we get a pullback tomorrow, we're going to get some kind of a retracement, probably to test a couple of these key breakout levels, namely 1434 and 1428. So that's what I that's what I'm looking for right now as far as the market goes. As far as the fiscal cliff goes, I don't know, we'll see. Um I didn't hear a lot of I didn't hear a lot that sounded like a deal yesterday, but the market seems to think that they did. Uh I will believe it when they come up with something that they have votes for. And nothing that was proposed yesterday has enough votes to pass either the Senate or the House. Um uh, and until the speaker and Harry Reid uh can uh can express to their caucuses what needs to get expressed in order to for that to translate into votes we won't have a deal so uh, we'll have to see how that develops uh, but you know it's a very dangerous time it is still a headline minefield if you have been long and enjoying this rally I want you to stop this tape and I want you to take some profits I'm not telling you to take it all off but I am telling you that if you're holding 40 handles worth and you haven't taken any profits I don't even know why you trade. What's the point? Are you trying to make money or are you not trying to make money? So please take some profits, okay? This is your business. Um, if you're short, you know, understand the risk. We could we could pop as high as as 1475 or 1485 on uh, on either riding the bands or on some form of news. So, uh, you know, there there's risk to the upside. Uh, I don't I I personally don't think we're going to do that in one shot. I think we're going to have some, you know, I think we're going to pull back. I think we're going to test 34. I think we're going to test 28. I think the bulls need to in order to kind of reload things uh, for higher prices if that's their intention. I continue to maintain that this entire move is one big buy the rumor. And if we do get a deal, then you're going to get some kind of sell the news. Whether that sell the news is sustainable remains to be seen. That, that that remains to be seen. It could be sell the news for a day. It could be sell the news for a month. There, there's really no way to tell. Uh, but with 100 plus handles of uh, by the rumor, there's going to be a good deal uh, of traders that are going to say, "Okay, I got mine. There's the deal. Uh, I'm out." Uh, so you have to expect that. Um, okay. Everybody have a fantastic day. Mike Vaki, Princeton Trader for Mr. Top Step. I'll be back tomorrow morning with another webcast. Trade them well, everybody.